Spirit. We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. We have just received word that it's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. Robot on your Friday. What up, no, man? No, you didn't. Live via tape, v-13.com. It is the Ryan Report. You want to talk about fashion? You want to talk about money? You want to talk about being followed? Let's get to the money. All right. <laughs> Eve St. Laurent. Does anybody wear that anymore? YSL. Mm -hmm. Okay, so YSL comes out with their Spring Collection 2011. Okay. They have different shoes, you know, some uh, pastel-colored bottoms, some blue bottoms, some green bottoms, some red bottoms. No. All the ladies in the building know that that's a no-no. That's Christian Louboutin, honey. Yes, and uh, Christian Louboutin uh, says that he tried to settle with them. He says, uh, I have the biggest respect for the house of E. St. Laurent. Having discussed the matter with them and not being able to reach an agreement, we have had to take this to court. My company has a trademark on the red sole, and if we don't enforce it, this would leave the door open for other brands to copy us while jeopardizing the identity of the red sole. No one before me has ever used the color sole to define their identity. The red sole has become widely recognized as the distinct, distinct sign of the brand in the eyes of of women all over the world. No, he's absolutely right. The first thing, I mean, you know, they have tons of knockoffs now, but the right. first thing you do when you see a woman and she has red bottoms is you think, you know, Christian Louboutin. And they are suing for $1 million. Of course, that may not seem like a lot of money, but uh, Christian Louboutin had this to say. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. It's the principle of the whole thing. It's principalities in this. There are <laughs> There are principalities, principalities in this, yeah, man. You're absolutely right. Because the red bottoms, that's that's it. You get a pair of those. They exactly. can't be knockoffs. No, absolutely. And like he said, I mean, you know, you pay $2,000 plus for a pair of red bottoms, okay? So you don't want yeah. someone stealing that. Uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Patty at a hotel, uh, $20,000 a night. For their living situation. For a hotel? Right. According to people, they arrived, of course, by private jet, the Clearport, and uh, got the penthouse suite at the Hotel Le Maris, which has a $20,000 night price tag. Has a private kitchen, a glass-enclosed dining room, and enormous private open-air terrace. They're saying it's a working vacation, so they may write it off because they're both working on a song featuring Kanye West and even prepping for a video treatment. I just don't, I can't, I've been in some decent hotel rooms, but I can't understand a hotel room in the world that's worthy of 20 grand a night. Even if you do have it. Is it tricking if you got it, Ryan? No, it's not. It's not? No, it's not. Okay. No. 20 grand a night? No. That's none. It better that's come none. with a new credit score if what? I do that. You know, you cross into a certain threshold from the people who I know who have lots of money. Mm -hmm. Even when they're by themselves, they want the penthouse. Just to walk around. Nude. 20. You can't walk. I can walk around nude at the Sheraton. It's not the same if your hotel room is as big as this studio. You can walk around butt naked at the Holiday Inn. What does at that mean? At the Sheraton, they can see you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> can they? Yeah, they can. Wow, really? You know from experience? You know you know from experience. I've been going down Peach Street many times and like, whose face is that pressed up against that window? Wow. El Duncan! Whatever. Justin Bieber and Lady Gaga going back and forth on Twitter. Not in the fight, but in followers. You know, Bieber said, uh, I'm done. I'm going to take a little Twitter break. Then, of course, all, all of his followers said, we want to give you more followers, give you more love. He has now crossed the 9 million follower That's mark. That's insane. 9 million. Can you imagine what his timeline looks like? I mean, like, is he following anybody back? No, no, that's interesting. I mean, these people always, they want you to follow them back. Are you a big follower of your Twitter fan? Like, will you respond if someone's like, I would love to follow you, but only if you follow me back? Will no, you? I follow people back. I think I follow like a thousand people. Oh, do you? Yeah. I follow a thousand people because really? I said, yeah, when I go place and I say I'll do a follow back, and I think I'm like 26,000, I follow like a thousand people just because I, I mean, I like to have that interaction with uh, people who are, are fans of the show, and, and I follow them. How many people do you follow? Mo. How many people do you follow? Like 43. Okay. Yeah. 
All it right. crowds my timeline. Uh, Lady Gaga still the champion with 9,503,000 followers. And it's official. USA Today, the front page means nothing. The back page, there it is. The Britney Spears tour. I got a circle featuring Nicki Minaj. Look at the little picture of Nicki in the corner. That's all right. That check ain't going to be little. No. Nah. Look at all them days. Blah, blah, blah. And Phillips Arena, July 17th. She'll be back. That's going to be a nice check. Oh, that's a huge check. Britney so. Spears, and that's a world tour written all over it. Do your thing, man. Mm-hmm. That is Yitty your Ryan Nikki. Report right here on your free money station. Yeah, she just did it on him. <laughs> B103. And if you don't know, now you know. You know, you know, you know. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. B103.